Hi doll, Cheryl here, waitress extraordinaire, and welcome to Cheryl's Mono Blog. This is the place where I get to put in my two cents about the items on the menu of life, so to speak. Today's appetizer is really just an update on where I am with my project online here on the internet. So far, I've created my very own YouTube channel. That's right, you can go there. It's Cheryl's Mono Blog. That way you can look at my videos. Now, of course, this is only my second one, but I plan to expand the library. So check it out every now and then. The other thing I did was I created my own email account. That's right, my address, Cheryl's Mono Blog at yahoo.com. You can write to me there. You know, send your comments or ask me some questions. I'll be happy to take a look. Today's main course has something to do with what our president said during his State of the Union address. He said he wanted to raise the rate of the minimum wage from $7 and change an hour to $9 an hour. Now, I think it's a good idea to raise the rate, but I hate to be the one to tell him, doll. But really, $9 an hour, I don't think is going to be quite enough. Think about it. Do the math. $9 an hour times a 40-hour work week comes to what? $360 a week times four weeks in a month. That's $1,440 a month. That's before taxes. That's really not enough, doll. Even living by myself, I'm not so sure that Cheryl could pull that off. And you remember how our leaders were talking about, you know, being afraid of going off the fiscal cliff? I don't know about you, doll, but I went off that cliff a long time ago. I've been living on an austerity budget my entire adult life. I turn out the lights when I leave the room. I pull the plug out of the wall, out of those appliances that I'm not using. And I save water in the shower in a bucket to help flush the toilet. I've been doing that for years. So when they talk about a minimum wage, what does that really mean? How little I can get away with paying you? How about thinking about it instead of a minimum wage? What, call it a living wage and then do the math. I guarantee you, they'll come up with a very different figure than $9 an hour this day and age. Trust me. Which brings me to my motto, doll. Sometimes you just have to shake up the salad dressing. Because when you do that, the little herbs on the bottom, they start to move around. They're not weighted down by the oil on the top. They begin to flow freely, blending with the vinegar and even mixing with the oil. You can't tell who's on the bottom and who's on the top. Now, until that happens, don't talk to Cheryl about, we're all in this together, doll. Hmm. So, that's all I got for today. Listen, write to me at my email address, Cheryl's Mono blog at yahoo.com, and we'll talk.